watching Good Morning Arizona on Free TV. Get ready to be inspired. Uh, we are going to introduce you to a woman who really doesn't take too well when people tell her she can't do something. Katie Sullivan, born with no legs, but boy, does she run now. She's become an actress, a singer. She's in our studio next. Running is like feeling your strength and power and just truly being in your body. It's like nothing in the world. Just an incredible story. You might say Katie Sullivan is like very few others in the world. She does run even though she was born without legs and that did not stop her from competitive swimming or gymnastics. She also decided to become an actress. She's been featured in uh, several things including My Name is Earl, has a movie coming out. You pretty much do it all and Katie is competing uh, for the Desert Challenge Games and she's in town this week. Welcome. Thank you so much. To a hundred degree day and you're running today? <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> so hopefully it'll cool off a little bit. I have to say in talking to you, you almost forget unless you look down that you don't have legs. When yeah. you were born without legs and you're growing up without legs when do you say you know what I think I'll do gymnastics and I'll run and I'll do what everybody else does I think I had the incredible luck to be born to a family that didn't see my physical circumstances something that was wrong or bad they really just let me try whatever I wanted to and they let me fail you know mm -hmm. and I think that's they didn't treat me like I was made of glass and um, it really helped me fight in this world we're so fortunate to have things like hanger, uh, you know, orthotics and prosthetics. I mean, you've got your legs. How hard are they to operate? How hard are they to put on? There's definitely a learning curve to them, but the thing that's incredible about these legs in particular is that they're controlled by computers. Wow. I've seen the gamut in my life from basically a door hinge to something that I have to plug in at night with my cell phone. What is your basic message? I know you're speaking on Monday to a local high school and the kids and they look at you and they think, okay, if she can do it, I can do it. My message to children and to anyone really is that the obstacles that are put in front of us in our lives merely are there to demonstrate how badly we want what we want and go after it and really fight to get what you want in life. You're also singing the national anthem. What's more nerve wracking, doing that or competing? Running. <laughs> oh, really? Running is so much more scary to me than singing or acting or anything like that. Well, I know you're going to do a great job. We have to bring in, yeah, I'm watching this. It's just amazing what you can do. Um, even as amazing as your husband, who is also an inspiration to so many people, you got to bring in Jay. I came in and I said, all right, wait a minute. So you guys met in rehab, and Jay said, wait a minute, not that kind of rehab. Jay, welcome. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, I, um, I was doing rehab. Uh, I was a semifinalist for Survivor. Uh, about six years ago and I was doing rehab she had injured her back and she walked by in her titanium alloy Terminator I'm gonna kill you legs <laughs> and I thought it was the sexiest thing I'd ever seen <laughs> you can tell uh, Jay also is kind of a stand-up comedian which is is what you decided to pursue four months after an accident that for most people would have left them devastated yeah I decided to uh, to tell jokes about it because I figured there's nothing stronger than a laugh I, you know, I got to agree with you. So you all have days where, you know, I had a hard day. No, wait a minute, I had a hard day. Well, I had, do you, do you compare notes? I think what we bring to our relationship is a tremendous amount of perspective. Mm -hmm. Are we really going to fight about leaving a pair of socks on the floor? No. I mean, it, we, what we bring to each other is really um, an incredible amount of uh, joy and laughter. It's really what yeah, our it's, relationship is. It's pretty is. much our, our favorite pastime is laughing, but we also, <laughs> but we also uh, really, uh, I think we communicate so well with mm -hmm. each other, and it's because we, we have to. And all the other stuff, if you lose your keys, if the Who toilet's cares? backed up, if you're stuck in traffic, all that stuff just doesn't matter. I gotta tell you, what an inspiration to have you both here. Uh, Katie and Jay, uh, we've got the information on our hotline. Katie's got, do you have a website, Jay? Um, just look me up on Facebook or YouTube. <laughs> okay, yeah. I kind of popped that on you, John, yeah. Jay, and Rich, but, yeah, we, sure. but Katie's got uh, her website, and of course she's in town this weekend, and we've got all the information on our hotline and our website as well. And again, the Desert Challenge game's taking place uh, over the weekend, and we wish Katie and all the other competitors uh, the best of luck. But uh, talk about perspective.